The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, this will be my uh, last day until Thursday. I'm not going to be here tomorrow, but we do have a special guest today, Dr. Al Larson from Money Tide out of Colorado. Thornton, Colorado will be our guest. One of the smartest human beings I have ever met. And also a devil make care type good guy. He is really a really nice fellow. We'll have him on the air. Uh, his daughter uh, got her PhD here at the University of Arizona. I remember quite well because I had to kick in fifteen thousand fifteen thousand dollars to the admissions group uh, to get her get her in, and then also I had to get with the SAT scores another ten thousand to uh, you know get her SAT scores up. Uh, we had the same SAT scores. The difference is I had to take that test nine times in order to get the same uh, test score that she had. She's one smart cookie, just like her dad. Anyway, Al will be on at the, that time. We'll take a look at this DAX here. You'll notice that we had some type of a bottom in here, uh, had a pretty good bounce. And uh, I think what we're seeing now is a classical DCB dead kitty bounce in the uh, stock futures. They will be going lower. The question is whether they'll be going lower uh, today or not. That's the $64 question. Uh, there are a couple of trades that you ought to pay attention to. First of all is this one right here. We talked about it yesterday. And uh, hold on. That's not the one I want to show you this one anyway. But this is the gold The gold chart. You'll notice uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Bill, uh, Al and I have been friends for, oh, my God, a long, long time. So he's uh, he's a, just a super guy. Anyway, here's the gold. We made a big Gartley yesterday, $34 rally off the bottom. That's the harmonic number in gold. We get above 1305. This is wrong, and it's going to go a whole lot, a low, whole lot higher. But the one that we talked about yesterday is uh, the key, I think, and that is this Treasury bond that we were visiting uh, at that 149.22. We hit that thing spot on, 149.22. We backed off about a half a point, 149.07. We're trading around 149.12. I believe we're getting ready to head down in bonds, i.e. interest rates going higher. That's my two cents worth. But again, that's just my two cents worth. I don't know how far it's going to go, of course, but nobody else does either. If we look at that 30-year uh, bond on a daily chart, you'll be able to see that it is uh, right up in that zone where we thought it was going to get to. But now we'll be able to see the high was 23. Well, that's good. Uh, well, fortunately, your stop was at 24, I'll bet, Maria. Okay, let's move on here and talk about one other one, folks. Th this is really interesting here, folks. This is a uh, this comes from one of our friends way down under, down there in Perth, Australia. And here is the Australian dollar. Uh, this is going, you know, so you can see this goes back several months. But look at this three drive to a bottom pattern that we have going here in the Australian dollar. This is a really interesting one because it lines up uh, pretty much with what we've been uh, hoping for. And this is the daily chart of the Australian dollar. So uh, pay, pay close attention to this one down here where we are because we're at the 61% retracement right now, folks, at uh, 69.35. Uh, so pay attention. One other thing, you know, I do this artificial intelligence. Sometimes I post these charts. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. But uh, it's always interesting to look at them anyway. But uh, one of the things that popped up today, really unusual, and that is the time frame between 9.30 and 10 o'clock Eastern time. I run the six major cross rates, and I'll be able to see. Um, uh oh, uh, hold on a second. I got a slight communication. Oh, I can take care of this. Oh, I better do this right now. Hold on, folks. I got a tiny bit of a uh, of a uh, problem here. A lower third name tag when you get a chance. Name and affiliation. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, it's going to be Dr. Al Larson. L A R S O N. He's from Thornton, Colorado, Money Tide. And um, 
that's what uh, that's what he'll be doing here, and we'll uh, we'll get that going here. I hope you have. Uh, let me know, John, if you got the phone number for Dr. Al. Uh, so please, uh, you know, let me know. We'll we'll get that moving. Anyway, um, keep it. What happened was today, uh, all six major cross rates come in between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. I don't know if anything's going to happen or not, but th this is a big, big flashing light for me because if we're at any any key levels in these things, like euro, yen, pound, Australian, Canadian, they all come up between 9.30 and 10. That doesn't happen because they're run, they're run separately. And uh, so there should be something, a uh, big trend change of some kind between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. Well, We'll follow through with it tomorrow to see if it worked, but uh, that's uh, that's what we're taking a look at this morning. It's very interesting, so keep an eye on those. That's the uh, main ones that we're we're sort of uh, watching as we go through some of these uh, this morning. We had a big sell-off in the crude oil yesterday, much like we were anticipating. You know, we had the big run up and then the big run down, and um, that's not unusual in that market. So we want to pay very very close attention to what happens today. But we did have a big move in the uh, uh, the crude oil. We had, first of all, it went, up, it went up a buck and a half and then dropped $3. That was a monster move. And whether we're going to continue on or not, we'll have to wait and see. I want to take a second here and give some kudos here to our good friend, uh, Basil Chapman. This was forwarded to me by Mr. Z. And just to show you, you know, you talk about Elliott Wave. Look how Look how the Chapman wave is done here. Uh, it is what it, it's just incredible. Look at the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I mean, all of these are swings, folks, and those are the same types of swings that we look at. We call them A, B, C, D. Maybe you know, uh, named a little bit differently, but the swings are there. Put the ratios in. Bada bing, bada boom. It gives you a pretty good idea of what we're watching here. So keep an eye on that. But Basil is a real expert at measuring these and it really is uh, indicative if you notice EFG you can see EFG that's that's really a three drive to a bottom pattern folks right down there at that uh, 2802 and that means that we should have some resistance at 2860 to 2840 so we'll keep an eye on that but uh, this market has made a major turn down in my opinion and it's just starting we've got a long way to go I don't think it has anything uh anything to uh uh to do with uh anything you know what i'm saying it's just one i'm doing two things at once folks so bear with me here i have to i have to get al's phone number here and five five six six i think that'll do it there we go and uh we should be okay now but um all right, let me get my train of thought back. We talked about the bonds. We talked about the gold. Um, we have, oh, the Christmas corn. Let's take a look at the Christmas corn because we were looking at that. We had a butterfly pattern uh, forming in that. Uh, you'll notice that uh, that was around 368. We rallied 17 cents yesterday. Caught all the big funds by surprise uh, because, you know, they talk about the tariffs and all this stuff. All the news was out, and there were no sellers left. And uh, away it went. So whether you're in the corn or not, you know, you want to put your stops at break even. Buckle up and see what happens. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
the TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the uh, July soybean meal. Uh, this is the one we talked about last week, and we also talked about it. Uh, uh, yeah, we talked about it last week. We talked about it yesterday, but I wanted to, uh, you can see the big ABCD pattern that we were looking to see down there at that 2885 uh, uh, level, and then you'll never guess what happened yesterday. It went exactly to that number and then turned and had a really nice $800 move. Same thing happened in soybeans, corn. Uh, wheat actually moved more than uh, anything else. It moved, uh, you know, well over uh, $1,000, I believe. Uh, no, maybe, maybe, it might have even went $2,000, but it was a, a big move. Most of that is short covering, of course, because, you know, there's a lot of bearishness out there. And whether that's a one-day rally or not, you know, we really don't know. But uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, remember, we're going to have Norm Winsky as our guest. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, I got a doggone problem. I'm going to have to figure that out. Ah, we have Norm scheduled on Friday, and I have a double. I had Tim Boss that day. I'll get uh, Tim to uh, do it on Thursday. So we'll have Tim Bost on Thursday and then Norm Winsky on Friday, Dr. Al Larson today. So this is known as Astro Week. So we'll get moving on some of these others. Uh, but we are, I believe we are in a pretty significant bear market in stocks, folks. And it's based on many of these patterns, uh, none of which is no more important than what we're looking at here in the New York Stock Exchange Index, folks. You'll see here that uh, we had that massive Look, look at this pattern, folks. This is the big pattern of the 135 pattern going over 18 months. The first high was February of 17, then the September 18, and then here in April of 19. All of those right at 786. And, you know, now we've gone below that level that we had on Friday. So that's telling you that this market really wants to go lower. 
Uh, there'll be all kinds of news and big swings, and I believe we're going to see some you know, tremendous volatility uh, in these markets. But uh, in the longer stretch of the imagination, I think we're going to be seeing a big increase in volatility. This is one of the things that I think has changed. You'll notice when we made that double bottom down there uh, around April, the end of April, uh, that's when the stock market was actually topping around May 1st. Uh, that we were making that three drive to a bottom pattern. It was uh, a double bottom in the VIX index. Then we had the big rally on Friday, uh, thir excuse me, on Mo Friday up to the Thursday, up to the 50% re retrace, but we backed off. Uh, on Friday, and then Monday, we had a big move here. Is heading, we're heading towards 28 or a lot higher. My ultimate goal on this is somewhere around 70 is what I'm looking at for a, a VIX index, maybe even higher. We did get to 90 back in 2009, so we'll, we'll see if we get back to that level. So anyway, those are just a few of the things that we're watching, and I think it's important to realize that divergence that we had in that New York Stock Exchange Index is extremely important because when you look at the E-mini S&P, it made, well, it's the big S&P, but the E-mini S&P made higher highs, a three drive to a top pattern. Uh, and so with the divergence that we had in the Russell and the New York Stock Exchange Index, which is the biggest index of all, that's, that, that really means a lot, folks. And when you look at the transportation index, you know, making an absolute perfect head and shoulders pattern on the weekly chart, I mean, these are things that Richard Russell would be jumping up and down, yelling and screaming. And then we also had a double top in the utilities. And that's also telling us that we're having a, probably getting ready to see some pretty good interest rate uh, rises. In other words, the bonds will be going down also. So those are just a few of the ones that we're watching to see whether this market is ready to go uh, to the downside and that this is our remember these are based on uh, opinions folks that that's all they are and they're based on patterns and opinions but that's it one more I wanted to cover here and that was this eight uh, high yielding bonds uh, we, we mentioned that a little bit we covered it in the newsletter newsletter and you'll see here that uh, you'll be looking at uh, you know, th this stopped at the exact 7-8% retracement two weeks ago. Couldn't go above it. Another <clears throat> another reasoning behind that is what we're watching. Maria is talking about a, the potential target in the S&P at 2150. And if we take a look, <laughs> 2150, Maria, if we get 2150, darling, they're going to be big trouble in River City. Let's just take a look at <laughs> 2150. I love it. God darn, I like it when you think positive. Look at this. Uh, see the gaps? We fit it. We, f we fished. Fi <laughs> uh, Why well, I do this? I don't know. Okay. Well, the first gap was filled at 28, uh, 20, uh, 28.20. The low was 28.02. The next gap we're looking at is 27.84. Maria is looking at uh, 2100. That's a 1.27. Folks, you see that low back in December, back there on December the 26th. When we take that, when we take that low out, uh, <laughs> when we take that low out, there's going to be uh, there's going to be something really big happen. I don't know what it'll be, but uh, I don't even want to think about that one, uh, folks. We, I, mean, I don't want to go over this again. I've did it so many times, but it's so important, folks. I, I don't I don't have the charts ready today, but let me tell you that December 26th low was so big that uh, those of you that get my newsletter, well, let me give me a second here just to give you a, t a bird's eye. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this because it's just a, just reiterated over and over again. But let me just show you this banking index. This is where the money is. Let me get this banking one up because this is indicative of what happened with the whole market because this is a key, and we want to get it ready right here. There we go. We're going to show this. Hopefully, we'll get this up here. Oh, i got to send it to the... Uh, to the chart package one second and then we will uh, we will get this up here this is this important folks if you've never heard this show before um, and I don't care whether you believe in pattern recognition or not but you better believe this chart because this is the big one and all I gotta do now is find that little puppy uh, shucks ah oh, here it is right here in front just a minute okay here it is this is the this is the banking index going back 10 years uh, look at the cycle bottoms. You see the low on December 26 was exactly 61% from the low of 2016. It was exactly 
382 of the low from 2009. You'll notice that the high that it made just recently is a 135 lower top pattern. This is what uh, Bill uh, Longstreet and his dad, Roy Longstreet, uh, liked. Those were all really nice ratios. The number five was a 61% retracement. Uh, and folks, when we go below that low of December 26, uh, we're going to go down and test those lows from 2009. That's how bad that is. That, that, and, and not only that, but it's not just the banking index. It's the Dow Jones, the S&P, the NASDAQ, all of them. Everything's there. I mean, all the numbers hit it spot on. You don't see that very often. It happened on... Um, uh, March 5th, 2009, when they all ended up that way. So this is really big. This is, you know, this is a, just a really, really big number. So 2100 in the S&P is uh, going to be a while. So <laughs> how about, uh, how about well, 666 was the low in, um, what was that, 2009, I think. that Yeah, I believe it was, 877. <clears throat> <clears throat> Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I want to introduce you, those who have not heard him before, but this is my friend and good old trading buddy, Dr. Al Larson. Al, it's been a long journey, Buckaroo, but we're still in the game. Yep, Larry, it, there, there's an advantage to being a dinosaur. I guess so. We're we're actually the same. When's your your birthday is? Uh, uh, you'll be 79 this year too, won't you, Al? No, I'm I am 77. So. Oh, you're younger than me. Oh, shut the front door. You're not uh, you're not still jumping on the roof at uh, Christmas time putting up lights anymore, are you? No, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> we almost lost Al a few years ago. He fell off the fell off the roof, but you're okay. Al, didn't your daughter uh, get a PhD here at the University of Arizona? Uh, Yes, she did, and uh, uh, Amy's now uh, working for the International uh, Atomic Agency, and uh, she's got a rotation from the la la uh, from the Los Alamos Labs to uh, work with the atomic energy uh, folks there in uh, Geneva. Well, I, re I remember. I remember when we were taking up a collection to, uh, you know, to get a donation for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, for the admissions to get her in schools and help her with the SAT scores. Can you believe the stuff that's going on in the news with that stuff, Al? I, I just uh, you, 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 it, it makes one sick. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I, you I, know, I, I got into college on a, on a scholarship. Uh, but you had to have worked hard and had good grades. My daughter did the same. Yeah. Millions of kids have gotten into school by working hard and yeah. uh, be, uh, living an honest life. Yeah. Al, tell us what you've got. You've got something new uh, going on. You're changing your uh, your format for your uh, chaos clinic and stuff? Uh, yes. Uh, for many years, my chaos clinic was just, uh, here's how you trade the moon tides today. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I've gotten older, that's gotten harder to do. And uh, uh, I also, it, it was also focused only on today's action. And, of course, I, I watch longer-term stuff. I used to do a newsletter, uh, but I quit that in 2007. So what I've done is I've kind of taken the newsletter idea, and what I do on Friday is that, I, I uh, create a good chart and write a few paragraphs about it and post that on daytradingforecast.com. Uh, and then anyone can come in on Friday. And Friday, that site is free. That's my day trading site. Uh, uh -huh. But there's an open chat room, and I, I'll chat with anyone who shows up. And uh, uh, they, they can, they can uh, read what I had to say and look at the chart I put up and uh, discuss it if they want. Mm -hmm. And then over the weekend, I, I will post that on moneytide.com mm -hmm. um, in a new section called my blog section. So okay. uh, after the fact, uh, you can come back and uh, look at those. And uh, that's sort of my my... Uh, opinion track record, if, if you will, uh, on moneytide.com. Wow. That's, Al, you're going to be, are you sitting down, Al? Because I want to tell you something you're not going to believe. Are you sitting down? Yep. I'm thinking of getting a smartphone. Can you believe uh, it? It won't After, make you any smarter, Larry. <laughs> well, that's true. I mean, I'm beyond that, but at least I'll be able to see pictures of it and play the cartoons like all the little kids do. Al, <laughs> uh, let's, talk, let's talk a little bit about the market, my friend. Uh, you're, you're uh, as I recall, uh, back in early May, you were getting uh, uh, pretty bearish the market. Do you still think we're in a major topping area here? In the, uh, uh, yes, Larry. Uh, we we just topped uh, in S and P. We barely broke the 2018 t high, uh -huh. and for 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 about a few for for about three days, I thought we might make it up uh, to 3025. Uh, but over the weekend, uh, I, I watched what was happening when uh, Mr. Powell gave his press conference with the. Uh, from the FOMC meeting, and I was kind of surprised they didn't do anything 
And then as he talked, the market went started going lower, 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 and then it went bang. But then the next day it rallied back up. And of course, that that was a Friday, and we ended ended looking like we still might be going higher. But then over the weekend, uh, we had a had a tweet show up announcing that uh, uh, the U.S. was going to impose tariffs on China, and we had a gap in. Uh, the, the kind of charts I do are, are unique. They're called plasma charts, but I try to track the energy field. And when you get breaks in the energy field, they're discontinuities. And and uh, those discontinuities introduce a period of chaos. Mm -hmm. And that happened, uh, well, it, it's now a week ago. We had a gap down Sunday night. Uh, this last week we had another gap down, but uh, just tracking the from the top in uh, 2018, we we had a hard sell off. Everyone panicked in December, and then Santa came along and says, you know, no, everybody should buy. Uh, but if you look at the speed of motion, which gives you an idea of the power in a move, the faster moves have more power. Uh, the one going back up was at, at three quarters the speed of the one going down. Uh, three four is a ratio right out of the musical uh, system. Uh, so that that opening shot was a warning that uh, things were in trouble. Mm -hmm. Do you, Al? Do you think uh, this will be this top will take out the the low from uh, December the December twenty sixth? Eventually, uh, I, I think it will. It, wow! It, well, that, that's, that's 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 saying something. The next one that that you've posted here is this clamshell. You want to tell the folks uh, what you're looking at here? Uh, yeah, I don't know which chart you've got up, Larry. This I, is this is the seven move chaos clamshell. Uh, uh, I don't know what the number of it is, but I think it's the fourth one, but I'm not sure. Let me see if I can get it up oh, here. Seven move chaos clamshell in the uh, yeah. SH. Yes, that's it. This is the SH. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the exchange traded fund uh, SH is a is a uh, short S and P fund, and what I've noticed is that when uh, I think this fund is, is used in a lot of ways by different people, but I, I think uh, stock portfolio managers use it to hedge their portfolio uh, when a sudden move uh, or down move starts. And one of the patterns I discovered years ago from energy field studies is that there are seven, basically seven waves. Uh, you can label them any different way. Uh, but they tend to have a curved side and a straight edge, and this one's pretty good. Uh, but the S&P or SH turned up. I track things with moving averages, and we've broken above all of those. So a longer Al, Al, could you could you stay with us for a minute? We got to pay a few bills. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay. All right. Dr. Al Larson, Money Tide, Thornton, Colorado, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors distributor for side fund services llc the bull bear binary option hour next on tfnn okay we're back folks we're talking with dr al larson out of colorado al could we switch over and talk about gold a little bit sure what are you seeing here my friend Gold started or turned up last fall, uh, and on my chaos clinic uh, in November, I noted that we had had uh, moved one, two, three, and four of a K up chaos clamshell. I suggested it was a good place, uh, good place to buy. This is the GLD exchange traded fund. I I, I recommend that. Uh, you know, part-time investors and older folks like us who can't react as fast uh, use those as vehicles for trading. And I suggested it might be a good buy, and I track things with a set of a rainbow of moving averages, and they were all turning up. And uh, it was one of my, my better guesses, educated <laughs> guess, I guess. Uh, because move five turned into an expanded move, and we we ran ran up pretty good. Uh, we got up there at the peak up that I've labeled seven, and has a green box one. And uh, I personally just held held on to mine because I I thought we we're coming down in a congestion. Uh, in March, I thought we had a golden opportunity showing up. Basically, I, I was saying, watch this congestion because it is a congestion. It's not a thrust. Uh, uh, in April, I thought it looked ready to rally, but it broke down. But then when I looked at the detail, we had seven moves down. And, and uh, I actually personally bought more right as we came off of seven there. And then when all this trade trade war stuff hit, of course, they popped back up and confirmed that we're going higher. Mm -hmm. How high do you think gold could get, Al? Uh, I, I haven't looked long-term at the futures chart. One of my clients does nothing but gold using my my XGO and ZGO forecasts, mm -hmm. and he has it uh, going about uh, twice as high as this first move here. Wow, that's a big move. Yeah, it is a big that, move. Yeah. But that, that move one on my chart's a big move. Yeah, it sure is. Wow. Well, it's been a long time, but we've been in a bear market for golds uh, for the past couple of years. 
Uh, Al, let's do one more here. Uh, this is the S&P, uh, which is this long-term clamshell that you're talking about. And uh, then we'll, we'll let you get back to your work. But uh, what are you seeing here? You think we're going to get down to this uh, level of, uh, of 200? Well, what this is, Larry, is that if you just look at this, and this is SPY, and look at the seven moves that I find reoccurring in a chaos clamshell, uh, we, we thought, uh, for example, in 2008, that, that move four down there was, was really a huge drop, but barely took out the low of, of move two. Then we began this incredible rally, and in chaos clamshells, you, uh, move five is typically the biggest, and it turns into, an, frequently it will turn into an expanded wave. But what I noticed on, on on this monthly chart is that we have three drives to a top mm -hmm. pattern going yeah. into where I've labeled five. And all mm -hmm. I did was that I, I, I took move, move two down and move four down and drew a couple of projections just copying those moves because mm -hmm. markets tend to repeat, repeat move sizes. And uh, uh, so that says like, uh, 220 on SPY, which would be 2200 on the uh, S&P, or uh, 2000. Wow, one of our one of our star students here at the Tiger Den was talking about 2150, so she's spot on with what you're talking about too. Listen, Al, I want to let you go because I know you're really busy. But thanks for hey, Al. Before you go, tell the folks how you can. Get my favorite book, uh, Your Electric Life, I think. Tell us about that book. I just love that book. I, I, I really do. Okay. Your Electric Life uh, was something I just had to write down as I went through my midlife crisis and sorted out how the, how the universe works. And I wrote it all up in my book. I used to uh, offer it on my uh, website, but now it's on Amazon to search for Your Electric Life on Amazon. Okay. It's a great book. It really tells how the body works with the chemicals and stuff and the moon tides. I I just really it makes so much sense too. It just just makes uh, just really good sense. Al, thanks. Hey, how do the folks reach you? Uh, what's the best way to uh, by email or what's your website? You want to give them get that uh, information just, out? Just go to moneytide.com. Mhm. Mm and uh, there you can sign up for a free uh, weekly email. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, there's contact information uh, on the website. Well, that's good. Al, thanks for joining us. I hope to get to see you one of these days, partner. My daughter lives up there in Denver, but I don't get up there too often. So just take good care of yourself, okay? Yeah, you can, you can come now. It's after Mother's Day. Uh, snow is gone. Yeah, right, until the, till Friday. I understand how that goes. Hey, listen, thank you very much, my friend. I really enjoy talking to you again. We'll have you on again uh, maybe later in the summer, okay? All right, Larry. Have a good okay. day. You bet, my friend. Dr. Al Larson of uh, Money Tide out of Thornton, Colorado. Very, very smart fellow and a really devil-may-care type good guy. All right, folks, let's take a look here at a couple things. We've had a big bounce, of course, in corn and soybeans. Most of that is short covering. Uh, because, you know, the whole world has been short because of all the tariffs and stuff. But it needs to really get to this area of watching, you know, where uh, where some of these things are going to go longer term. We've got to give – we've rallied uh, – well, we've rallied we – went we rallied 34 cents in beans in two days, a little more than 20-some cents in corn, 40 cents in wheat. So we are making some type of a bottom in here, much as we talked about last week, that it should be coming in. Uh, very, very close. And we've got this new moon, excuse me, this uh, full moon coming up here uh, on uh, Friday. And we'll have Norm Winsky and we'll have Tim Boast on the 16th. I'll have to change that around a little bit. So we'll get it. Remember, folks, I'm not going to be here uh, tomorrow. So I will uh, be here on Thursday and also Friday when we have our two guests. But tomorrow is uh, going to be out of town. Anyway, let's move on to one other thing that I wanted to mention, uh, and that is the, uh, the, the resistance levels on the way up in the S&P, folks. The main one is at the uh, 2860 uh, level. Uh, that's a 61% and 38. It's a 38% move off of the high. 
from uh, 2960. So that's the really big one to watch. 2860. I, I don't know whether it'll get there today or not, but that's what my my guess is that we might got pretty much somewhere in that spot. So we'll see we'll be, what we're watching. Now, well, the S&P just rallied up to 2833. That was nothing more than taking out the highs of that overnight number at 2832. Nothing exciting there. And of course, it has to drop 10 points from there because uh, you know it makes everybody excited to look at. But uh, pay attention to the S&P today. Uh, there's a really key time that uh, might be important, might not. Who knows? But that is at 1045, 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> Maria, <laughs> Blue Horseshoe loves Anacott Steel from the old movie Wall Street. <laughs> anyway, keep an eye at 1047 a.m. That's when there's supposed to be a turn in the stock market, folks. You know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But that's what Blue Horseshoe is looking at looking at today. Uh, Bitcoin, look at this chart on Bitcoin, folks. Look how it smashed through all those ratios. 
uh, this is a big move here. You know, we're almost halfway back. Can you believe that? From 19,000 down to three, halfway back, you know, 16, 8, no, that'd be 11,000. So that's not very far away. But it's doing it in the face of very, very bad news. I mean, the hacking and all the other stuff. So this is a real, uh, a real move coming here in these cryptocurrencies and blockchain stuff. So uh, we'll try to have John Jameson on one of these days. He's, he's going to be traveling for the next few months, but hopefully we'll get him on one of these days to talk about it. Um, yes, Mr. Z is telling us that August cattle has hit. Uh, 106.73 times. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with the cattle, Mr. Z. All this other stuff is jumping around good enough for me, so I'll uh, I'll I'll pass on the cattle. I'm I'm heavily involved in the the bonds and the currencies and stocks indices and stuff, so I'm not going to mess around with that too much. I'm watching the gold very very closely, of course. Because uh, if we get above 1304, I think gold's going to take off. I don't know about silver. I'd really like to see silver down about another 30 cents, down around 1440 an ounce, folks. That is a number that's been setting out there for a very, very long time. And uh, I think we've got it. Whoopsie daisy. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's get this silver chart up here. And I think if we get that silver down to 1437 in July silver, uh, that would really be nice. You got a three drive to a bottom pattern, 786, just mother God and country kite stuff. So that's what I'd be watching. So I want to tell you folks to live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And I'll see you folks on Thursday. So please have a good day tomorrow. And uh, whenever I travel, it's always rock and roll time. So there's going to be a rock and roll day tomorrow. May God bless. <laughs>